Welcome to this look at a new map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Upper Lake Farm. This is a new map out uh, by Silver Eagle 519, Matt, CCT 547, and Mr. T Bone 39. It's 73.15 megabytes to download. It's a fairly basic map and I don't want to say that in a derogatory way it's a basic map in that it is pretty much flat there's a few little hilly bits here and there this is a build-it-yourself fixer-upper style map there aren't a huge amount of cell points um, there are no mods added in by the map makers themselves there are no custom crops it's all standard giant stuff uh, in the base game here's the map talking of which I'm a new farmer normal economy for the map tour and that's what you start with on new farmer so you start with fields 22 23 24 this large expanse here which if i click that off is rather huge expanse of grass we start with all of the areas that have got cell points on including the roadways and you also start with the biogas plant but here's the thing if i click on that separately the biogas plant isn't a separate entity it is linked with this entirety here, which is 578,018. So when you buy that, you get all of that in one go, rather than it being separate, which is a bit unusual. Often, I say often, the biogas plant is normally a separate thing anyway. The periphery would normally be separate to your start farm as well, enabling you to buy and sell in sections. So it's unusual to have it like that, but it's a, it's a, huge, a huge chunk of land. Field prices are cheap as you can see 51,000 for that whole expanse there 401 which is massive so I would say this is going to be one of those maps if you're new to the game uh, maybe for your children grandchildren whoever it might be I'm not saying normal gamers can't play on this of course you can but it's a nice one to sort of get into the game things aren't mega expensive they're not too difficult to do so this is the plot we start off with we do have the in-game farmhouse, we have an in-game silo, and nothing else. Large open flat expanse, looking out to the south. All of our equipment is actually up at the store, which we're going to go to in just a second. But let's have a look at what we actually start with, shall we? So into the garage. Our slot count on New Farmer is 408 out of 1299. We start with the John Deere 6135M, Lizard Roadrunner, TX32, New Holland. Uh, pick up, Load King Distinction, header for the TX32. We've got Cultivator, Cedar. We've got the Silo, and we've got the Farmhouse. And that's it. That's all you start off with. If you come onto this on Farm Manager or start from scratch, it's still 408. You start with the same stuff. You just don't own any of the land if you come onto it on either of those. If you sell all of this equipment off, and including the farmhouse and the silo, the slot count can drop down to 269 if you want to get it down. It does say it's seasons ready in the mod tab. What we're going to do is walk up here and across. It's not too far to get to the store. We'll grab a pickup. Now, there are some interesting textures. I say textures. I think it's the lighting, but the grass in places seems to be almost yellowish. I think that's more the light than the actual grass itself. As you can see with all of this, big open expanses, sort of placeable areas in a way. So you can really kind of make this your own, you know, landscape it. Well, I say that, again, I can't check over an entire map when I do a map tour. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to landscape this map around it. So, where's my pickup? Pickup's just here. So here at the main store, which is also the reset point, we have got your repair customize sell point your buy point is just here obviously you can do it from your main menu if you want to as well plenty of space no hedges no fences nothing to get in the way i'm going to get in this side of the pickup let's start it up and what i'm going to do first is head west directly out of here to the first of the sell points so there aren't many but they are um, pretty much out in the four corners so we've got a bit of drive in between and I'll, I'll be honest again this is not meant in a derogatory way there's not really a lot else to say about the map as we go around you know you'll see the features as we drive around 
So we are here at the spinnery, but as you can see on the map, the roadway I've just driven along isn't showing. There's a few little bits like that. Again, possibly an update needed, a little bit of tweaking here and there. Um, because when you kind of look for routes to get to places, it's not actually showing anything. It does look like there's a route off of there, but if I turn round, there's not actually one. So yeah, possibly a little bit of tweaking here and there may be required. I'm also wondering whether a lot of map makers are using one particular base model, because where we are at this part of the map, on a few of the maps I've played recently and done map tours on, you get an area where it sounds like it's very windy, a kind of cross between high wind and machinery noise and it seems to be in the same location on a lot of maps so I don't know whether it's like the, the base model underneath possibly I'm not sure um, now obviously the, the house sleep trigger isn't fixed in place because if you sell everything off you can sell the house which means you can set up your own farm wherever you like what we will do is head let's go out to the side I think I mean, to be honest with you, I could cut straight across big wide open roads. Now, when I, when I do my mod reviews, uh, map tours, I will make a list, and I've mentioned this before when I'm doing map tours. We've got these irrigation ditches all around the outside. And it will have things like, are there custom mods that the map makers put in? Are there custom crops? Um, where's the biogas plant? How much does it cost? Is it a standard one? This one is a standard one. I will put down the slot counts on New Farmer, Farm Manager, start from scratch, where the reset point is. Then I have a section I just write on a piece of paper, Features. Then I'll add anything else in I come across that I want to highlight and show. And I'll be honest, because this is a kind of build-it-up-yourself type map, I mean, there are some landscaping features and things to show as we go around, but other than that, there aren't really that many other features. Livestock market, down here at the bottom, again, very basic stuff but plenty of scope for changing, converting, adding in your own cell points. There are plenty of modded cell points available now. I suppose it's a little bit like flat map, just not quite as flat. There are, like, there are some terrain features. Fuel station, whale bones. So the diner there hasn't got a cell point, but you could add one in if you wanted to. I know not everyone's a, a big fan of the, uh, the kind of blurred mountain map edges, those kind of things. I think it almost gives you a kind of hazy look out in the distance. I don't mind it too much. It's always when you get right to the map edge, it becomes more glaringly obvious, I guess. Placeables point here. There are no cell points here either. The buildings are, they look like the Goldcrest Valley ones, but there's none of the actual detailing of what the shops and stuff are so again that kind of leaves it free and open for you to pick and choose whatever you want if you were going to do your own then continue out a few little hillocks I think is the best way of describing them and round to the biogas plant just here fairly standard um, biogas plant that we kind of come across on a lot of maps Two large bunker silos, digestate tank is just here, your cell point into the digesters is just there. Some of the texturing is a bit blurry in places. Now again, that could be from making it, it could be, yeah, the grass definitely, that's got a very yellowish look to it, hasn't it? I'm not imagining that. Some bits do look green as you look across, and some bits do look quite yellowy in places. Um, yeah, but sometimes that's done at the sort, of, the sort of build level, and sometimes it is that conversion over from PC to console. Sometimes you get that kind of blur on some of the textures. It happens. Um, there are some areas that are like that. Uh, do we want this one? Yes, we do. As we turn in here, we're going back in sort of towards the centre to the barn cell point. I think it's the barn cell point. We will check the map again in a moment. Plenty of scope around each of the fields to expand. 
plough out fields, make them bigger, add fields, add well, whatever you like. So, back to the map. From the spinnery, we came out to the edge of the map here, and then we came all the way down here to the animal dealer, across the bottom, past the fuel station, that diner was just there, across the bottom there to where the shops and things were just here on that placeable area, up to the biogas plant, further up and across, we're now at the barn, we're going to go back and up. Actually, I might cut across here so we can have a kind of look at the lake on the way past. There's another hilly area here. We'll go up to the northwest corner to the sawmill. Then across the map, there's some sort of forestry and stuff up and around here. With It looks like almost like a hydroelectric kind of dam situation. You've got a lake at the top and a waterfall type bit here. A um, couple of houses again with nothing on there, no cell points or anything, but it gives you a bit of scope. Then out to the ranch, cell point. And kind of back from there, really. Yeah, so we'll cut across. Now, as with every single map tour I, I do, I try to look for the positives. I will point out negatives if I come across them. But also, it's subjective. It's my opinion that I'm talking about. I will try and put across varied options and opinions. Now, this isn't going to be for everyone. A lot of people come and say, oh, no, not for me, not interested. Uh, it's too plain, there's not enough on it. You know, other people will come and go, you know what, that's perfect. That's perfect for what I want. That's perfect for me to build my own, to do what I want. You know, I've got plenty of scope, plenty of room. It's flat enough. I can landscape, I can put place, you know. So there's going to be something for everyone. Not every map tour is going to suit everybody. So from here, that was a weird squeaky sound, back of my throat. Apologies for that. Up towards the sawmill. Again, sawmills are fairly standard um, sort of setup. We've got the lumber point at the front with the wood chip cell point at the back. Oops, just clipped that. <laughs> that was not intentional. That's weird. That flat bit there with no no grass text or anything on it. So, heading west to east, across the top of the map now, and we come to this, which is... A, this is the second map I've come across this recently. The last one was on, is it Lazy Acres by TNT? had one of these and oddly we get another one within a few days so you've got this waterfall section to the right hand side and if we go just south of here there's like little walkways up from the house and there's a little parking sort of area and you can go up and across that bridge at the top to a lookout point if we carry on through here it's kind of chiseled out the rock it's huge it makes the pickup look absolutely tiny And then from here, we'll head out to the northeast corner of the map to the ranch cell point. And that, for all intents and purposes, that's the map. That's the cell points. That's, you know, everything of note. There are a few little bits, I say, around that, that little lake area and the waterfall to do a bit of exploring and have a look around. Plenty of scope for doing silage work and grass work. There's loads of grass area around. But it, it definitely... I know I've mentioned it a few times, but it's that... You know... There is a lot of scope on here. One thing, again, it can be a positive, can be a negative. It depends how you're viewing the map. We do have the um, Supreme Milk kind of placeable put on here. And there's no sell point. Again, you could place your own. You might not want to... But you could, you could argue, well, if you've got the milk place there, why have you not got the dairy cell point there? Yeah, I mean, I suppose technically you could, but it does give you the scope to put it yourself if you want to. Um, there's a fine line between a map with nothing on to build and a map that's got everything. And then you've got the maps that have got so much on and you can't remove stuff. Then what do you do? You've got no scope for then any growth for yourself. So, like I said, there's something for everyone. 
this is the ranch sale point we come right the way across the top through the tunnel across here we're now up the top of the ranch sale point so really all we've got left to do is come back down and head back into the main farm where we started and that's all the sale points taken in i hope you've found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching